Hi guys, it's Gina here and today I've got a makeup tutorial which is inspired by the Golden Globes, the Oscars and also the crazy warm Melbourne weather. So I call this the warm earthy look and I'm also using this Zoella Metals palette that I picked up a few months ago. So let's go! Now this is a full makeup tutorial which is perfect for any evening events. So first thing I've done is I've already prepped and primed my face. And for foundation I'm using the Revlon Photo Ready Airbrushed Effect in Golden Beige. I've just come back from a holiday and I've gotten a tan so this colour is perfect for my skin. And I'm applying that with the Sigma Round Kabuki Brush because the consistency of this product is a bit thick and I find it better using a brush than a sponge because I, because I have more control on the product and I'm just applying it by using dabbing motions and little circular ones to blend it together and I find it more flawless and I'm just going over any darker spots to give it a more fuller coverage. For contouring I'm using two cream based concealers. So the first one is the Rimmel London Wake Me Up Concealer and this is a few shades lighter than my skin colour which I apply under my eyes to make me look more awake and refreshed. So I'm applying triangles under my eyes to cover up any unnecessary bags and I'm also applying it along my t-zone because I have an extremely flat face so yeah. And secondly I'm using the Milani Secret Cover Concealer which is a couple of shades darker and I'm going to go ahead and put this along the hollow of my cheeks, along my forehead, the sides of my nose and also my jawline because ain't no lie this girl loves her burgers. And once I look like I'm about to do a tribal dance, I'm just going to grab my blending sponge and blend that together using the end for the darker shade and the tip for the lighter. Or you can use two separate sponges. Now to the brows, I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in Chocolate. And I find this product really pigmented, creamy and dark. So I'm using the Coastal Scent Angled Brush and I'm just applying that lightly to create the shape of my brows. And once I've created the shape, I'm just going to lightly blend that in because if you press too hard, it does come out quite a lot. So a little product does go a long way. Now to the eyes, so I'm going to prime my eyelids with the Too Faced Shadow Insurance. Because I will be applying a lot of eyeshadow, I just want to make sure that the eyeshadow stays all night. And especially if it's hot, you don't want your eyeshadows sweating away. Using the Everyday Naturals Eyeshadow in I Do Declare, which is a nice, subtle, shimmery brown colour. I'm just going to apply this to the sockets of my eyes to give it a little bit of depth and also as a transition base colour. So now moving on to the Zoella Mixed Metals palette. Yeah, yeah. So this looks so pretty. The first one I'm going to use is called Copper Plate, which is kind of like a red tone copper. And I'm just going to apply that to my eyelids as a base colour just to make the look a little bit more warmer. And the next colour I'm going to use is called Rusty Steel, which is a nice bronze colour. And I'm going to apply that to the end of my eyes to blend the two colours together with a blending brush and make it look a little bit more darker and a little bit more smokier. And to make my eyes stand out, I'm also using Neo Brass, which is a nice brassy gold. And I'm applying that to the center of my eyelids just to make it look more vibrant. And I'm also applying that on the bottom of my eyelids as well. Did I mention how pigmented these eyeshadows were? They are crazy and I'm in love with this palette. And the last shade is called Warm Silver and I'm just applying that to the inner corners of my eyes to make my eyes look a little bit brighter. Now moving on to eyeliner because I feel naked without wearing eyeliner and I'm using my all-time favourite Kat Von D Ink Liner in Tripper and this is by far my favourite eyeliner because it's so black and I'm just applying that along my lash line making sure it's nice and thin because I don't want to lose focus on the eyeshadow. And on the bottom lashes, I'm also using the Maybelline Unstoppable Eyeliner because I don't like to use ink liner on the bottom in case I get watery eyes and it smudges. For mascara, I'm using the Tarte Lights Camera Flashes for volume, but mainly to blend in my lashes with my false lashes, which 
boom, I'm wearing the most baddest, thickest lashes because it just looks so pretty. However, for my lower lashes, I'm using the L'Oreal Paris Telescopic Mascara because I find this works better in making my lash lower lashes look longer and more defined as well. So now that the eyes are done, moving to the lips. So I'm using the MAC Lip Pencil in Whirl to line them. I have really uneven deflated lips. So this color is a shade darker than my normal lip color, but I find that this is perfect to reshape them. And because I don't want to lose focus on the eyeshadow, I'm just going to go with a nice natural color. So I'm using the Maybelline New York Elixir in Caramel Infuse as a lip gloss just to give it a little bit more gloss and just some final touch-ups so I'm using the Becker and Jaclyn Hill shimmering skin protector press in champagne pop and I'm just going to place that on my cheekbones as a highlighter to make me glow like JLo and since I'm touching up on that I'm also going to use the NARS algorithm bronzing palette to make my cheeks a little bit darker and bronzer now this palette is actually this was actually a Christmas edition two Christmases ago but I believe you can now get it regularly as as the Laguna bronzing palette and ta-da so this is the final look and I'm really happy with the Zoella metals palette and if you like this look please give me a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to watch more videos thanks for watching bye